Okay. So yeah, it's knights in white satin. The night. That's crazy mm -hmm. because that's basically always... the two songs we've known. Yes. All of our lives. And I, the well, knights in white satin. I only knew from you really? when you uh, played it. But every time I would play it, I think I had downloaded it or something to my iPod, and I remember seeing this cover. So that's why I was like, I wonder if if this is knights in white satin, but. Mm -hmm. Um, evening was very interesting. It was very... Yeah, I wanted to talk about that to yeah, you go first. I liked... Near the end there, I liked all of the vocal arrangements. It really made it feel. But it also had, like, what Lunch Break had, which was some orchestral cinematic and then some harder rock. heavier rock yeah yes and that's what i wanted to talk about the the rock part sounded very pink floyd very psychedelic yes. and it's so crazy because once the rock kicks in it sounds incredibly dated mm -hmm. and then when the orchestra yes. kicks in it sounds completely modern because we're yes. so used to orchestral music and music and movies and mm -hmm our daily lives yeah. you know everything from a commercial from a movie score when it ends is orchestra mm -hmm. so we're very used to those scales yes. and the sounds but when the music plays and the guitars and the chords and the drums and the voice the way it's recorded sounds very 67 and then the orchestra kicks in it sounds like 2023 yes it's very odd even though that's why classical music is so timeless yeah it is a timeless way of playing music it is. like totally it absolutely is i agree because you're right when it's when the rock part kicks in it, it sounds like doo -doo 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 -doo, you know <laughs> like it doesn't sound as clear or crisp mm -hmm. or no. like yeah <laughs> like i didn't the, i didn't notice right? that but now that i'm thinking about it you're absolutely it sounded right. almost like see emily play like that Mm -hmm. the, the way he was singing and also back in the day i just noticed this like early pink floyd or early moody blues it sounds very english when they sing yes and that's why they were like kind of making it a point like yes. they were from britain yes. you know now you don't hear that anymore you know there's no accents yeah. well a lot of people hide their accents a lot of mm -hmm. like elton john Adele. sometimes even sounds like american mm -hmm. you know when when you hear him yes. sing or i've Adele. read about that where artists are trying to stay like neutral, neutral. in mm -hmm. their act accent sometimes um but yeah i really am enjoying this very much and i'm very happy Can't that the closing gonna is to gonna this. be nights in white satin Oof. so the first time that nick showed this to me um did i put it on a cd oh for you? uh okay actually the first time you showed it to me was i think just random at the house but then i organized this picnic for you on the beach where our friends helped out and the little lamps were set up and everything, and then I was playing Nights in White Satin on the phone. Yeah, um, isn't that yeah it was like amazing? a nighttime little picnic on the beach, um, and all of our friends helped plan it. They set up all the lanterns with the paper bags and everything. Mm -hmm. And then, Beautiful. yeah, when we walked down, I played that on the phone. But, but yeah, so this is what that song reminds me of. Oh, and so sweet. thank you okay, but yeah let's start it again another beginning. song i've heard since i'm a kid you know nights in white satin i didn't know that this was the night but that's why it's so i i always thought of those two songs on the best of moody blues i'm like mm -hmm. wow they're so orchestral yeah like, they're so much so dramatic you and know and now we get to hear them as a whole yeah wow yeah well, thank you so much again for thank suggesting you. this album but this is going to be a a great song down memory lane. So if we sing along, you know, mm -hmm. we know it, but here we go. in white satin never reaching the end letters I've written never meaning to send 
it deep, the gathering gloom. Watch lights fade from every room. Bedsitter people look back and lament. Another day's useless energy spent. Impassioned lovers wrestle as one. Lonely man cries for love and has none. New mother picks up and suckles her son. Senior citizens wish they were young. Cold-hearted orb that rules the night removes the colors from our sight. Red is gray and yellow white, but we decide which is right and which is an illusion. That's amazing. What an album. Yes. What an album. Like, oh man. Like, especially now that I know that it has Tuesday afternoon and nights and whites that and I had no idea. Mm -hmm. And it was so good to hear these tunes again. It was quite a roller coaster for yes. me. I didn't want to express too much emotion. Why? But no. <laughs> no. I, I'm done. I'm done. Um, but, um, yeah, beautiful, just beautiful record. Like literally like as good as Dark Side of the Moon. It's very, very good. And it's absolutely wonderful to listen to it as a whole. Um, Definitely. Although these songs, uh, may be appreciated separately, it's, it's wonderful to hear them in the context and the fact that Tuesday afternoon is twice as long I don't know if Nights in White Satin is a little bit longer than the... No, that was the one that I've always listened to oh, because okay. the speech, I remember okay. that. Look at the plays it has. Yeah. But, um, man, like the whole thing... I, I, I just went on Proc Archives. I don't know if you use that, um, but it has like a perfect score. It's a progressive masterpiece. Mm -hmm. And um, But yeah, I mean, I just love the whole yeah. thing. But I loved just listening to it in a full context exactly. for the first time yes. ever. Even though I knew a couple of songs, yes. I had heard the four songs, the first four songs, two years ago. But I did not remember anything. And then these Tuesday afternoon and nights in white satin. But mm -hmm. they're even called different here. It's crazy. Yeah, you know? I know. Um, but it is wonderful. Now we have another album that in we the can books. say, and we can put it. When we drive somewhere, exactly hey, like days of future past, or okay. what? <laughs> <laughs> what we always do that we say that in Spanish, like, hey, like, like, should like, we watch a Hitchcock movie? Okay, okay, like, or what? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> very so, Mexican, very Mexican. Um, but yeah, this was wonderful. Thank you for the suggestion, thank you for sharing it with us. Please share with us your experience with this album. How how old were you? How old were you? Where were you when you heard it the first time? How did it impact you? Um, you know, that's what we love is not only us sharing with you, but when you share in return, it really yeah. means a lot. Um, mm -hmm. This was just wonderful. Most I loved hearing... I love classical music and I also grew up with it. So hearing all of the classical elements with the rock mm -hmm. and then the harp is just so special to me too. An aunt that I dearly, dearly love who's actually been on the channel, my aunt Patti. Uh, she plays the harp and she's actually going to be here we on Wednesday. We played theater. Yeah. Poor, poor so soul. So that'll be really nice to have her. And yeah. 
she um, would i'm sure she would she I'm sure loves she, this out she yeah i'm this sure out. she knows this yeah but yeah what's another thing that i wanted to talk about um man i mean what's there to say it's just uh, all of the arrangements were just everything. perfect it was must have been a massive undertaking to to record mm -hmm. this and i'm sure that because most of the people that we talk to are boomers um like on the channel are boomers you guys are boomers um so boomers 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 <laughs> so hey boomer but yeah but so not a lot of people like you're oh, most of you guys are like born in the 60s so you must have been you must have been pretty young mm -hmm. we have some older people 70 year old mm -hmm. 70s 80s maybe mm -hmm. but maybe they don't say but most people are in their 60s are like i'm 60 something that's they're very vocal about yes. being in their 60s, yes. right? Yes. Uh, which I think, which I consider still very young. Mm -hmm. Like, I think 60s is not old. Mm -hmm. Once you get to your 70s, late 70s, just like I've seen my mom when she was in her 60s, she was like, she was in her 40s. But then suddenly she was in her 70s and yeah. you could really see the, the difference. difference so but it, i yeah. mean to each his own we know some people in florida they're in their 90s they were they looked younger than us <laughs> they looked oh. younger than their children <laughs> yes literally that was crazy yeah um, um <laughs> yeah yes. so but anywho this was just a wonderful experience um i'm very very grateful that we got to do this with you guys yeah. uh, that we got Pleasure. to share this together uh, another that, one in the books. Another one in the books that you got to listen to some stuff from your childhood. Yeah. And it's just wonderful to have this platform to share with you guys. And um, another full album is awaiting some of you soon. Uh, this is our first full album of the month. And if you are a La Familia Casa Nostra or Dan member, you'll be seeing another one very soon. Yes. Uh, but thank you all so much. And we hope to see you all in the next one. Thank you, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye.